Welcome to this episode. Uh, we're gonna get started in the Acura while the while the engine heats up, guys. I left my ice scraper in the classroom. It's gonna be that day. It's gonna be the day where all the little details don't line up. But we're gonna have some fun, so let's get this windshield cleaned off and get on the road. wasn't terrible. We uh, did all right getting here. I mean, it's so far, you know, and all that. All right, so this episode today is going to be a day in the life episode. Um, photography club this afternoon. I do not know if or what sporting events there are this evening, uh, so I'll have to check on that. I'm still, still struggling with the calendar, the sports calendar. I don't know what's wrong with me, but. Um, I read that thing and I go, oh yeah, there's a game tonight. And then I'll be like, wait, there's no game tonight? Well, I thought it was on the calendar. So I'm gonna actually, I'm actually gonna try to figure that one out. That, that seems like something that a normal human should be able to do, read a calendar. After all, it's just a calendar. And it has dates on it and it says things like boys basketball tonight at the school. Got my ice scraper. I left it right, it's right here. See, so yeah, I always carry it inside just in case like it snows while I'm inside. And then I don't have to go like open the door and have all the snow fall into the car while I'm trying to get the ice scraper out. But if you leave it This is my Santa Claus shirt. It is Christmas. Uh, I may have mentioned, first of all, many times that I am uh, more or less, you know, fashionably, fashionably challenged. I've never really been very good at it. And uh, a lot of the ways somewhere, because the, the school colors are, is maroonish, maroonish, I have acquired in the last three years a whole like six or five or I don't even know somewhere between this color and purple this this whole spectrum of it's like it's like going into the maroon paint section at Home Depot and going oh look at all these different colors that I would all call them all maroon or oh, this one's red but, you know, but they all have different names all right this is not what this episode is about we are <laughs> we're not talking about uh, Home Depot paint colors but we are gonna have some coffee All right. So I just dropped, um, I just dropped the video this morning, uh, an adolescent young adult relationship video. On it turns out to be six considerations that you should have before you enter into a romantic relationship. Um, and it's, I think it's a good video. I, 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 there's 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 six things, kind of practical, kind of deep, kind of philosophical things. And this, where's my garbage can? Be back. I about told you. Uh, what else? Uh, anyway, so um, I, in the comments, I said, hey, any thoughts or ideas or, or suggestions? And immediately, um, I, got a com I got a comment suggesting uh, a series of videos on the love languages. And... Uh, if I recall correctly, that is uh, Gary Smalley's the author, I think. If not, apologies to the author and, and you know anyone else offended by my by my mistake. It, it is a it's a good way of viewing relationships and, and people. It, it's a real. I've, I've talked a little bit about it in previous videos, so um, we will. I think I'll probably make that. That's that'd be like five videos that would give me something something to do for the rest of rest of, maybe I don't know when December or January ah uh, this came to me yesterday this came to me yesterday in uh, text messages 
as I have shared from time to time things that um, my, my son observes about life, different, my, my two old sons and I are in a, a, long, a long, it's like four year long, we've been doing this uh, group chat. There are a lot of things you learn as an adult that you don't have to think about when you're a kid. Like not accidentally sticking your hand in a spinning ceiling fan while folding a blanket by yourself. Folding. Oh, no, that's, yeah, that's funny. I thought it was funny. I told him I was going to share it. He said, okay. A uh, meaningful, serious concept in this video. Meaningful, serious concept in this video. There is one. Let's get to that. So I titled this video, Do You Have the Right Stuff? And obviously in um, the success mentality, the right stuff is a set of character traits and skills that are related to your ability to do the thing that you're supposed to be doing. You may have heard that gust of wind. You, you may have seen things begin to move around. I don't know. The HVAC just came on and uh, started blowing napkins, paper towels across my desk. Crazy. Uh, do you have the right stuff in this video, though? I'm not actually talking about character traits. I'm actually talking about stuff. The stuff that you have is a definite part of your success plan, your, your ability to be successful. I was prompted into this by my camera bag situation. Um, I have a camera bag. This guy, this is case, a case logic bag. It, this was my bag. This was my bag for a long, long time. I, I, I went through several bags getting to this one. The problem is, this bag is just not big enough for the stuff that I want to carry around now that I have a YouTube channel. I have a new bag. It's this big bag back here. It holds everything, but there's there's a design, there is a design aspect that I do not like. And I didn't realize it had that design aspect when I bought it. So where am I going with this? The stuff that we need to do the job can either fit our way of working or we have to fit our way of working into the stuff that we have and the stuff that we are able to use. And I know that that's elementary, but it's, it's a, a mindset of success. So someone asked me one time, they was like, hey, would you like to have a Corvette? And I was like, yeah, for an afternoon. That would be fun. Like, and, and if I could go to a track or someplace where I could legally, you know, drive it fast. I think Corvettes are awesome. And, and Chevrolet or whoever, you know, General Motor. If you would like to sponsor me a Corvette, I will make videos in the Corvette. You know, I'll be glad to do that. But it doesn't really fit my lifestyle. It is a piece of stuff that isn't the right stuff for the way that I live and the way that I operate. Um, the, this bag, as much as I love this bag, it doesn't fit. It is not the right stuff for, if I'm going out on a Saturday and I'm going to go out and I'm going to do a whole bunch of clips and videos, this bag doesn't cut it. This bag doesn't cut it. The same is true with apps on your phone and software and all the things, all of the elements, all of the elements that you would consider stuff. You need to, you need to find the stuff that fits the way you work. Everything needs to fit the way that you're, you're striving for success. Does the, the stuff of your social media work together towards your success goals? If you're a very diverse person with a lot of diverse interests, are you reflecting that across your social media platforms? And if so, how are you keeping the, the constituency happy? Do you have the right stuff? Are you using it well? Do you have the right software for your computer? How, what does your workflow look like? Do you go from A to B to C, or do you go from A to B to that other program to do something, and then back into B, and then to this other program to do something, and then back? Maybe B is not the best program for you. 
Maybe B is not the best application. So do you have the right stuff and do you know how to use it? When I was a uh, young teenager, probably middle school age, my dad always had this thing where he would talk about tools. You know, and, and, and he would always have this advice. He would say, you're not using the right tool for the job. He would be like, that is a Phillips head screw and you're trying to use a flat head screwdriver to get the job done. It's not gonna work. And if it does work, it's not gonna work well. And, if it, and, and, and also you could end up damaging the screw or something. Always wanted me to use the right tool for the right job. Clearly, the idea of using the right tool for the right job has merit. But there, that is very important in, in getting things done most efficiently and most effectively. But there's another side to the do you have the right stuff concept. And that concept is, that is, what if you don't have the right tool for the job? This introduces the, the opposite of everything I've said up to this point, and that is use what you've got to do what you've got to do. If all you have for your vlog is a camera phone, it's probably good enough. It'll probably do 1080p video, and you can probably get decent audio if you work at it. You can probably do a vlog with your camera phone, your phone camera. That, that's probably gonna work. If all you have is iMovie, you can probably edit your video using iMovie and get good results. Is it the best tool? Is it the most perfect tool? Use what you've got. Now that's not to say, and this is one thing that my dad caught me doing when I was probably sixth grade. I was trying to put a screw, a screw into a board with a hammer. And he was like, what are you doing? Some tools just won't do it. And that's where having the right stuff kicks in. So that's both sides of the, of the coin. Do you have the right stuff? Are you using the right stuff? And uh, the, the alternative is you have to adapt your work to the tools you have. So hopefully this has been a nice little segment, a, a nice little meaningful moment for uh, this episode. Sit right there, I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel-Air. <laughs> In That's West not Philadelphia, not born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. <laughs> Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of school. When a couple of guys were sitting there up to no good, started making trouble in the neighborhood. I got one little fight, my mom got scared. She got to move with your auntie and uncle Bel-Air. All right, so lunchtime has arrived. We're going to take the opportunity to wrap up this episode on do you have the right stuff? Two, two ways of looking at it. One is, do you have the right stuff that is going to lead you towards the success that you have defined for yourself? And, and if you're really trying to be successful, you need to get the right tool for the job. The other side of it is, you may not have all the tools, so you have to change the way you operate to work within the context of the tools you have. If you don't like your camera bag, you have to figure out how to use the camera bag you have to get the job done until such time as you, you know, get a new camera bag. So, right tool for the job or adapt your process in order to use the tools that you have. Two sides of the same coin. Do you have the right stuff? That's all for this one. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications. Leave me a comment, a question. I, I really appreciate the comments and the questions and the suggestions. And, and I try to respond to those. Uh, share this video with someone else. That's all for this episode. I will see you in the next one.